Welcome back to a, another video on my channel. As you can see, it's a beautiful morning here in Austin, Texas, and it is time for another G Fuel review. So today I was thinking we could try one of my highly anticipated flavors, uh, which is the Wampa Fruit flavor, which is actually a new one that I got in a couple days ago. So as you can see, here is the uh, Wampa Fruit tub. I think it's a very cool design, but I'm slightly annoyed because the day I ordered this, I kid you not, the day after, they came up with a reskin for like the 25th anniversary for the Crash Bandicoot game, which is the uh, video game that this tub and this flavor is inspired after. So I'll have a picture of the reskin on screen right now, but it looks really cool. So I was kind of bummed out, but I know this fruit is, uh, this flavor, sorry, is gonna be really good regardless. So I'm still looking forward to it. All right, so here we are with our Wampa Fruit tub. Uh, here's a closer look at the design. I think it's really cool. Obviously you have Crash, the main character of the video game on it. Ingredients label as always. And yeah, I think it's a pretty nice looking tub. I would have loved uh, some design along the bottom here. I like when the tubs have, you know, some color down here, but still a quite good looking tub overall. Of course, we have our shaker with our 16 fluid ounces of water. And now let's crack open this tub and have a taste of the Wampa Fruit flavor. So as always, get your nail into the seam and just drag it around. There we go. Let's crack this open. Take off this protective covering. A bit tricky to get off today. <laughs> and there we have it, boys. The Wampa Fruit powder. Interesting. A slight color in there to offset the white powder a little bit, not too much. And we have been blessed. The scooper is at the top, which rarely happens with G Fuel, so I'm happy about that. All right, now remember to get rid of that excess powder so none of your precious G Fuel goes to waste. There we go, pretty much all out. And if you are using a normal water bottle for your G Fuel, we wanna keep this on, but I'm not, so I'm gonna remove it to make it a little bit easier. Go, slides off right there. Nice. Okay. Now let's get one nice scoop of the Wampa Fruit powder. And I can already smell the uh, apple and mango flavor that's coming off of the powder, which I'm very excited for. These are two of my favorite flavors separate, so I'm excited to see what they taste like together. Move that out of the way. One full scoop into our shaker. And instantly we get a nice orange or bright yellow color that's forming in the water. So that's very nice to see. Close the tub up real quick. All right, lid back on of our shaker. And as always, we're gonna give it a one, one and a half minute shake. I had to change location real quick because the blinds in my room were giving off a very strong glare to the camera. But here we have our nicely colored Wampa Fruit G Fuel. I love this vibrant orange or maybe even yellow color that it's giving off. Let's do a quick smell test before we get into it. Mmm. Okay. I don't know if any of you have had star fruit, the G Fuel flavor star fruit. It's very similar in smell to this, but let's see how it's gonna taste. So here we go. Mmm, okay. Interesting, very interesting. That is definitely giving some star fruit vibes off. So Wampa Fruit, Sorry if I got to mention this early in the video, but one prefer is a apple mango flavor profile, according to the G Fuel website. And instantly, I taste a lot of the mango in this. I think the apple is definitely the secondary flavor, but yeah, the mango is very nice. It's not too much, not too powerful. I 
Okay, yeah. So if you're thinking of buying this flavor for its apple flavor, I definitely think twice about it because it's, I would say it's even 70-30 in terms of mango to apple in terms of this flavor. So it's definitely more for those of you who like mango out there, but definitely give it a go. I think it's a good flavor. Let me give it another try. Nice and refreshing, great summer flavor, I think. But overall, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 for the Wonka Fruit. I think it's definitely a nice flavor, nothing too powerful. I think if you're looking for a nice, you know, tropical fruit flavor, it's a great G Fuel to have, but not one of my favorites, I have to say. It's good, but nothing too special. So I'm just about three quarters done with the Wonka Fruit, and I just had to make this segment because there's a flavor change. I don't know if maybe some of the powder dripped to the bottom, but I'm tasting a lot more of the green apple uh, flavor now. And I don't know why that is. Maybe I just didn't mix it enough, but like, it's starting to be a lot more balanced and I don't know why that is. So before I said it was a 70-30 mango to apple, but now it's honestly 50-50 and that's really nice. It's kind of tart now. It's, it's not sour, don't get me wrong. So like uh, my Sour Blue Chug Rug and my um, Sour Phase Berry reviews will be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. But it's not sour, it's very, very, very tangy, I have to say. It leaves that thing on the back of your throat, like, you know, it's meant to, it kind of tastes like a sour flavor, but it's not. It's really good and the apple is coming through now. So definitely, Definitely give this a try. I mean, it's a good flavor. Nice apple to mango balance. That's my review of the One Perfect Flavor by G Fuel. I definitely recommend it for anyone who loves the mango or apple flavor profiles. You know, it's that nice tropical taste that you always want on a nice hot summer day. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna cop this flavor, what rating you give it out of 10, and I'd love to discuss it with you. Until next time, guys, enjoy your G Fuel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.